welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be doing a quick comparison between ray tracing on versus um ray tracing off i'll be using path tracing with the rtx ray tracing overdrive bounces and ray preset mod this will actually enhance path tracing with extra bounces and extra rays this is made by uh, matlad1911 over at nexusmods.com i'll leave a link in the description box or a pinned comment so you guys can get to it easy I'm also going to show you how to install the mod because since it's very very simple simply download uh, this file called overdrive presets and um, it's literally less than one megabyte so don't worry about that and once you've downloaded it um, all you've got to do is go to where you've installed your game my one's on my uh, e-drive and then you choose how many bounces and how many rays you want in the preset. So I'm going for the, the highest one, which is four bounces and six rays. You literally copy that file, go to where you've installed Cyberpunk, go to Archive, go to PC, then you should have a folder called Mod. If you don't have a folder called Mod, simply create a new folder and label it Mod and just drop in the file of your choice. I've gone with the four bounces, six rays. So it's going to enhance the path tracing and uh, kind of give you an extreme comparison between ray tracing and uh, standard rasterization gaming. I've also got the Pan Am enhanced body mod as well if you're wondering what that is. She's a little bit extra thick with this mod. So um, that is pretty much it. I'm just going to load the game up now and you guys can see what settings I'm using in game as well. So let me just launch that now. A lot of people um, you know, ray tracing is certainly not one over everyone yet because it is very, very demanding. So I understand um, when it comes to performance, that's probably first and foremost over how the game looks. You're going to want it to run smooth. And if you don't have the hardware to use ray tracing, I can appreciate why a lot of people just think it's not worth it. And I'm inclined to agree the high, high and like path tracing i think we're still a little bit away from that being actually a realistic thing maybe the next generation of gpus will allow it to be played at 1080p at 1440p in, in a meaningful way amongst more gpus but anyway so i'll be using a resolution of 3840 by 2160 low latency reflex is on because i have um the lss frame generation on and that makes it come on by default i'm also going to be using the dlss Super resolution balance preset, and I'll be using the LSS ray reconstruction. As you can see, I've disabled film grain, chromatic aberration, and depth of field just to have a clearer image. In my opinion, it's better looking game playing it like this. And I'll just be having no ray tracing on, so that's how I'm going to be using it at raster. And then I'll just enable path tracing, and that's literally what I'm going to be comparing the two uh, gameplays with so let's see how the game looks in comparison and you guys can tell me what you think of the addition of path tracing and if it actually makes a meaningful difference to the game